Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new personal collection from Aaron Terrence Hughes. So this is a brand new collection, whole new packaging, whole new concept. It consists of six different fragrances and I have them all here. These are all going to be coming in 30 ml sizes. Priced unbelievably good. You're gonna get a 30 ml for under $40, which is really just the deal of this century when you consider the quality, the blending, and it comes from Aaron Terrence Hughes. I mean, come on. The absolute artistry of his blends. I've talked about his fragrances on my channel before. I got a discovery set and I was just wowed by every single fragrance that I tried. And this new personal collection is no exception. I am so excited to share my thoughts with you guys because I think this is really, really an exciting collection collection release because it's so affordable and they're all amazing. So in this collection, there is a fragrance for every different type of occasion. And we're going to start with the first one, Aura. Aaron says that this one is his personal fragrance. He mentioned that it is the polar opposite of what every other fragrance in his lineup consists of. It's a totally different direction than what he normally does and inspired by French perfumery. So the notes in here at the opening, we have a lot a lot of bergamot with lily of the valley with a base of amber, amber seed sandalwood, white musk, and ambergris. I see the inspiration here. It does have a very classic feel, a little old school feeling. It's definitely not a necessarily modern smelling perfume. This is one of those scents that is going to take you to another time and place. This is a fragrance that when you smell it, it really just transports you to a different era. There is a lot, a lot of bergamot in the opening of this, just a blast. With this floral heart, you really feel the lily of the valley here. There's something about it. It reminds me of something that I've smelled before. I can't quite put my finger on it. And it is definitely different than any of his other creations. It just really lacks that kind of futuristic aspect that I think a lot of his fragrance have like there's just something like the best way that I can describe Aaron Terrence Hughes's fragrances is they're very appealing but they all have this kind of futuristic and very modern relevant edge to them but this one <laughs> I don't think I'd really say that about this. This is for the people out there that just, they love classic perfumery. They love very fresh, bright, very clean floral scents. This is kind of a scent profile that I think a lot of people would define as mature smelling. But for me, I think that really any age could pull this off. It'd just be a very nice, elegant kind of daily scent. It's very like light and airy, almost has this kind of like very slightly watery melon vibe going on in here. And as it dries, that ambergris that I know is one of his signatures, like he just has this way of using ambergris in his fragrances it's really coming out more and more. And I can recognize it from other fragrances that he's done. Like the DNA of this, as it dries, is starting to smell more like an Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrance with that ambergris. It's very classic, very safe, great signature scent just for any occasion. It gets better as it dries. It has a really beautiful sweetness that comes out more as it dries. So. That one is Aura, it's for the men out there. Well, really these are all unisex, but for anyone out there that likes more classic French perfumery style fragrances. So next we're gonna talk about Odyssey. Now this one smells like the sea. Very citrus heavy in the opening here. This one has another kind of classic feel to it as well, but not like an old school classic type of scent. Like it is definitely more modern, more relevant today, I think. This one is super masculine. It's very oceanic, but it has this kind of density to it that kind of pushes it going in something like a shower gel direction. Very clean smelling and a little bit soapy, very bright. This is a fragrance that'd be perfect for like the office. And, but also another very good choice just to wear day to day. Nice, fresh, clean, soapy, a little bit in the shower gel direction, very oceanic, very appealing. The notes in this one, it has that bergamot, has blood mandarin, has pink grapefruit with a made of amber, seawater, and ginger with a base of white musk, cedarwood, vetiver, and patchouli. So this fragrance here was Aaron's take on vetiver, his attempt at diving into the note of vetiver, seeing what he can do with it. And I like it a lot. This one also feels a little bit on the safe side, but classic and can be worn anywhere, anytime. It has a very masculine, musky undertone in this. Very appealing, easy to love. It's really amazing that 
these fragrances are only, I believe it's $37.61, like just under $40 for a 30 ml. Like he could be getting away with charging so much more money for these. It's really incredible what a deal these are. And I even said that in my video on his discovery set was like, I really commend him for being reasonable in his pricing. Like it is just absolutely, it's a no brainer. The quality of not only his blends, but just the quality of the ingredients that he uses. I think all of his fragrances are around like the $100, $200 range. It's really an amazing deal, especially in the world we are in today where the prices of designers are just out of this world, insane. This is definitely the time to try something new. And these all being under $40 is like, you can try as many as you feel appeal to you from my description. There's a lot of spice in this. It has a ginger that just adds this kind of happy edge. You guys know like ginger is one of the most amazing, like uplifting notes out there. I'm a huge fan of anything with ginger in it. And on this skin, I will say when I tested this on the skin, it gets even sweeter and less musky. You get more of this kind of fruitiness on the skin, really develops on the skin with that very sweet and sour, very ripe, juicy grapefruit really comes out on the skin. I feel like many men are going to resonate with this one. If you love just classic blue, clean kind of shower gel scents, oceanic scents, Odyssey is definitely one that you need to try. So now we're gonna talk about a fragrance that goes in a totally different direction than the last two. This one is called Addicted. This one is a super delicious gourmand scent. I mean, when I smelled this for the first time, I was like, <laughs> Wow, I freaked out a little bit. Oh, even in the air, it's just, it's gourmand heaven. Gourmand heaven. This is literally for the sugar addicts out there and it gets very powdery. I will warn you, as soon as it hits your nose, there is a powderiness here, almost like this kind of like powdered sugar vibe, like a dusting on top of a dessert. Very bright cognac note, this one is boozy. It almost tricks you into thinking something like a strawberry, like it's a very sweet cognac. It, that feeling goes away after like 10 seconds as the fragrance kind of settles down a little, it turns into, it, it gets boozier as it dries. It's very super edible. It has this mid of honey, cinnamon, and apple. You get a very strong, like delicious apple pie vibe in here, boozy apple pie with a base of chocolate and vanilla, tonka bean and sandalwood. Oh my gosh. This is the type of fragrance that gets me excited, guys. This is one that you need to try if you love gourmands. Forget Angel Share this winter, Addicted is it. Angel Share is like, it's overdone. It's, very, it's a good scent. Angel Share is fine, but this one is better. I feel like this is what I always wanted Angel Share to be because in my mind, I always thought Angel Share was kind of like this warm apple pie, but in, it's boozy warm apple pie. But in reality, it's, it's just more boozy. If you are a fan of Angel Share and you do not try Addicted, you're missing out. I'm sorry. You are missing out on a fragrance that I know will go right to the top of your most worn fragrances for fall, gourmand fragrances for fall and winter, because this one is going to shine in the cooler weather. And I will say that this feels less overly cloyingly sweet than Angel Share. It has weight to it, but I don't think it's quite as heavy. I say that the last two lean in a more masculine direction. This one is totally unisex. This one could be worn by a man or a woman. Both genders will thoroughly enjoy this. And Aaron has really impressed me with his gourmands. Everything I tried in the discovery set that was gourmand, I was just like, wow. <laughs> really, really impressive. And I got to try his new fragrance release, Oud Noir, which I have here. And I will be doing a separate video on that collection as well. I have worn this literally six days in a row. I am so obsessed with this. And that's saying something for someone that has like 400 fragrances in their collection. But Addicted is the one that all the gourmand lovers watching me absolutely need to try. It's $37. Like you, what are you missing out on? Like you need to try this. Both men and women, you need to at least try Addicted if you like gourmands for fall and winter. So now we are moving on to Athena. And this one is a unisex rose-based perfume. Something fresh, something fruity, very ethereal. Bergamot, a rose accord, a very strong lily note, raspberry, peonies, amber sandalwood rose, and white musk. What this reminded me of, when I first smelled it was Creed's Carmina, but more unisex, less feminine leaning than Carmina. This is for all the men out there that might have tried Carmina or might have liked the idea of it, but thought that it was too feminine leaning. Athena is your answer. But I will say that the rose in this 
it's a little more metallic. Like I said, Aaron's fragrances just have this kind of generally futuristic feeling to them. It's very hard to describe exactly how he does that. There is power in this perfume for whoever is wearing this. Perfect sweeter floral rose for a man. A woman will feel very beautiful and feminine while wearing this, but a man is going to feel like he is in charge, like he is a protector, like he is the most masculine man on earth. There's interesting how sometimes as a man, this is my recommendation as a woman to a man watching me is, sometimes you will find power in wearing things that go a little bit on the typically feminine side. And the same thing goes for women. There is power in women wearing masculine leaning scents, especially, at least for me, that's how I feel when I wear some heavy hitters like Tony Iommi or Herod or things that are just typically you know, masculine leaning, I feel very confident and very sexy. And I feel like it can go the same way with men. When you wear something a little bit on the softer side from time to time, there's an elegance in wearing more feminine fragrances. There is a comfort in your own masculinity. Like you feel like you might project the image of being overly feminine to the world, but I think it's the opposite. I think that you will project extreme masculinity. Like you are so comfortable and powerful in your own masculine energy that you do not mind wearing something like this. Like you don't need to wear Sauvage Elixir to prove to the world that you're a manly man. Trust me, the people around you, you are going to make an impression on people. But that's my rant. I've been telling men since the beginning of my channel to try rose fragrances because everyone enjoys it. And that being said, all the men watching me, all the rose lovers, Athena is one that you will thoroughly enjoy. Especially if you want to take a step away from that typical masculine DNA. You wanna try something different, Athena is for you. So now we have two left. First, we're gonna start with fake. So this one is, for me, going back into that kind of classic direction. This one has some barbershop vibes, the lavender and mint combo, very classic smelling fougere. This is the type of fragrance that really suits a man's skin after shaving. Modern twist on a barbershop perfume, kind of creamy in the end. You really feel this spice here. There's nutmeg and cardamom with a jasmine accord and fake oud, I guess that's where the name comes from. This one is very comforting and cozy. I love the fresh and bright aromatics in this. Mixed with the spice and warmth in the base, very appealing, very cozy, and also for the men out there that like just more classic fougere, lavender, mint, kind of spicy scents. Fake would be a good one for you. So lastly, we're going to finish up with fake noir. Finally, we're talking about Aaron's take on a rose oud scent. I don't know why, rose ouds just do it for me. I don't know how to explain it. There's just something about a nicely done rose oud that just really gets me excited. You cannot ever go wrong wearing a rose oud fragrance. Any situation this will work and you are just going to be like a step above everyone else around you. A very futuristic rose oud. This one is pretty different from any other one that I've ever smelled. The rose is extremely, extremely metallic in this. Combined with vanilla, amber, heliotrope patchouli, sandalwood, benzoin, frankincense, cinnamon, and clove. The patchouli in this is very spicy, zingy as well. Really just adds to that metallic feeling from the rose. Just adds to this overall futuristic metallic aura. And this one I will say as well, much more impressive on skin. I really feel like all of Aaron's fragrances are just designed to really bloom on the skin. It does not do it justice to be smelling it on the paper, but just for the video's purpose for smelling paper, but I have worn all of these on my skin already. Really best suited for a man's chemistry. More of those sensual spices really comes out. And on the skin, that metallic vibe kind of goes down a little bit as well. It gets cut by those spices. In my opinion, this is more of a masculine leaning rose oud and definitely more rose and oud. So people out there watching me that are a little put off by oud, you might enjoy this one. Very benzoic as well. Kind of resinous, very sweet, beautiful. So I am really impressed by this new collection by Aaron Terrence Hughes. When I got to try his discovery set for the first time, I was just, I loved almost every single fragrance. Very different. I love how he finds a way to do his fragrances to wear 
I don't want to call them mass appealing because I feel like that's almost insulting to him because it's not on that level. It's not like a, oh, this is a like mass appealing designer type of scent. It's not like that at all. They're all very appealing. They're not fragrances that are challenging whatsoever. They're all fragrances that everyone can get along with, but they are different than anything else that you can buy. There's a strong uniqueness, but a very appealing heart to all of them. And I think it's just very cool how he does it. And once again, I am just so impressed impressed by his work. Even the fragrances in the Oud collection that I got to try, I've been obsessed with Oud Noir. I seriously have not stopped wearing it in like a week. One of my new fall signatures. In terms of the personal collection, there is a scent here for every occasion, for everyone. They're definitely worth trying out and they're only $40. So if there are a few that really appeal to you, you should definitely check them out. Currently on the Aaron Terrence Hughes website, they're only shipping to the UK. I'm sure that in the near future, they will open up again to shipping to the United States. Um, and I talked with Max Aroma and they told me that they will have these fragrances in stock in the next like week or two. So I will make sure to make a post, a community post tab to update you guys when they are available on Max Aroma if you're in the USA and you want to try to purchase them. It's a really amazing deal. I feel like I keep saying that over and over. It's just, I'm just psh, so mind blown about the price point of these. They are totally worth it. He could easily get away with charging double for these. Thank you, Aaron, for keeping your prices nice and fair. Everyone in the community really appreciates it. And it's a great opportunity as well for anyone out there that has not tried anything from Aaron Terrence Hughes, because now you can have an affordable way to test out new fragrances. So yeah, guys, that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below. If you have tried any of the fragrances from the personal collection, what is your favorite fragrance from Aaron Terrence Hughes? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.